This video is a quick review of improper fractions. Remember to put the date at the top of the page and the topic, which today is improper fractions. The essential question for the video is how do we convert between improper fractions and mixed numbers? We'll start by reviewing the definitions of our terms improper fraction and mixed number. An improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator is larger than or equal to the denominator. The value of an improper fraction is always at least one whole. An example of an improper fraction is the value 9 fourths. It's improper because there are 9 fourths and our numerator is larger than our denominator. It's more than one whole. A mixed number is a value that is made up of a whole number and a fraction. A mixed number is also larger than one whole. Three and one-fourth is an example of a mixed number. Now that we've refreshed ourselves with the terms that we're going to be using, let's review how to convert or change a mixed number to an improper fraction. Let's use the number 3 and 1 fifth. My fraction is in fifths. Right? The denominator tells me the size of the pieces that I'm looking at. So really, I'm trying to see how many fifths there are in total. I'll make a quick sketch. My sketch shows that I have three holes. Right? My whole number is 3. And I have 1 fifth. I want to see how many fifths there are. So I can do that by breaking my holes into fifths. Each of my holes has five fifths. Right? So all together, there are a total of 15 fifths in my three holes, plus the one fifth that I had before. So all together, I have 16 pieces. Those pieces are all the size of one fifth. So the improper fraction that is equivalent to three and one fifth is 16 fifths. It's nice to see it this way, but I bet most of us do it without drawing it out. Right? We can just do a couple quick mathematical calculations and get the same answer without having to draw it. So there were three holes. They each had fifths. We ended up doing three groups of five. We did five times three or three times five. So I take my denominator and multiply it by the number of holes there are. Then I take that amount and I add the numerator to it. I kind of think about it as working around in a circle. So I had 5 times 3 was 15 plus 1 gives me the 16, which is what I got earlier. I know I have 16 pieces now, and they were all fifths. So I'd get 16 fifths. Let's do it now with 12 and a half. Take a minute, pause and, pause, and do whatever strategy works for you. I'll probably just do my multiplication and addition strategy, and then we'll see what you get. How'd you do? I got 25 halves, 25 over 2. Let's do one more. Same idea. I'll put it up here, and then you guys go ahead and see what you get. Let's do 11 and, let's say, 3 fourths. Take a moment see how you do on that one. I got 47 fourths. How'd you do? Now let's try to re reverse the process. This time we'll start with an improper fraction and see if we can convert it or change it into a mixed number. Let's try it with the improper fraction 7 halves, 7 over 2. One thing that you may or may not know already is that this fraction bar, this line here that divides our numerator and our denominator, is also a division bar. So we can turn this into a mixed number by thinking of this as 7 divided by 2. Let me go ahead and do 7 divided by 2. So 2 goes into 7 3 times. 3 times 2 is 6. There's one left over. It's a remainder of one. 
So that means if I have seven halves, it really means I have three holes, and then I had one left over. And remember, the size of my fraction was in halves, so the one that I have left over is one half. So we have three and a half. Let's try it again with nine fourths. So in this case, my nine over four, right, my improper fraction, really it could be read as nine divided by four. I have all my nine fourths. I want to see how many holes that makes and how many I have left over. Four goes into nine two times. Two times four is eight. And again on this one, I have one left over. So I had two holes that I was able to make out of my nine fourths. And I have one piece left over, but this time my pieces are in fourths, right? Not in halves. So I have one fourth left over. So my answer is two and one fourth. Try it one more time. This time I want you to pause the video and see what you get. Let's do it with the improper fraction 32, let's say 32 fifths. So we're trying to figure out how many holes there are in 32 fifths and what is left over so we can turn it into a mixed number. Go ahead and pause the video and we'll check in in just a moment and see how you did. Did you get six and two fifths? If so, you've got this down. You're on the right track. If not, right? remember you can always go back and see how we did it earlier. You can watch any parts of the video again. Our question for the day was to see if we could go back and forth and convert between mixed numbers and improper fractions. So check in with yourself and see if you were able to do that.